have a story to tell It's deep inside of my heart I have a story to tell He gave me another chance His love is overflowing Mega flowing I cannot tell it to now I have a new car I people his love for me is such this is love by I know I did you mean. I know that enough to tell sorry if I, so we went over one hour on Instagram and um, yeah so I'm gonna add you back very soon yes this is my song yes go to amenradio.net and search in I know I did you and that is yes this is my brand new single it was released October 20 2017 it's great. Now I don't have words to describe. Yes, it's my song. <laughs> yes, judge yourself. It's my song. I try to tell the story. My words can describe it now. Yes, go straight to amenradio.net and download this beautiful page. You can get on iTunes, Amazon, Tidal, Spotify, everywhere. Yes. Overflowing. Can tell you enough. You look for me, so sure. Is loved by Ano Adedere. So I should be happy, so I should be glad. Hey, to end the chances, to end this life. I live in the overflow of His grace. So I should be. Ah. Uh, Hi people, hi Pastor John, good day sir. I live in the, I live in the overflow. So I should be happy, so I should be glad. He gave me my chances to enjoy this life. I live in the overflow of his grace. So I should be. Love is new every morning. This is my story. Thank you, very people. And go subscribe on my YouTube channel. Yes, my YouTube channel is at another day. So people go subscribe, go subscribe. I praise God. It's on iTunes, just 99 cents. Hallelujah. Thank you, my people. Yes, yes. Welcome back to Life Matters with Anwar Didiri. And God bless you. That was His Love by Moi. Yes, yes, yes. That was His Love by Anwar Didiri. And if you have not gotten this song, what are you doing? Don't sleep on a bicycle. You have to go grab your copy. Yes, yes. Go get your copy. It's just 99 cents on iTunes, on Spotify. Boy, download it, share with your friends. You know, we always do everything excellently. And don't worry, this year we're gonna cop out another brand new single. Yeah, that's a teaser with just my viewers. Welcome back, Ife. How you doing? Sorry, I forgot that. I didn't know that one one hour elapsed on the on the show. So you were you were talking about um having it working with your target audience mm -hmm. and that you don't put spice in your yeah, that's why you stopped. Yeah, just because, first of all, we're in Canada, right? And our target audience 
it's not just Nigerians. Even though we're making Nigerian snacks as Nigerian small chops, Nigerians okay. are not our, ju- are not mainly our target audience. We're trying to, you know, mm-hmm. get out there, you know, to the greater, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Go into the world and do the good work. <laughs> and so not everybody, not everybody is pepper. They're like, oh, is it hot? Is it spicy? Is it spicy? It's like, no, it's not. So, I mean, sometimes people would make, so the thing, and the thing with us, we're very flexible. So if you want, you know, if you want spices in your meat pie, in your snack, yeah, you tell us. We modify it, but obviously, modification comes with extra costs. So if you're willing to pay, hey, why not, right? Because mm. it's not mm. more recipe. I'm going out of the norm for you, right? And at the end of the day, it's mm. all customer service. At the end, yeah. of the day, you give your customer what want if it's something yeah. that can be feasible into our brand sure yeah. if it's something mm-hmm. that cannot be i'm sorry it's not it's just not what our brand is about mm. um in as much as the brand on its own has its own um what we what we want to stand for there should also be room for flexibility right mm. Mm. so yeah so definitely that's that so even as much as you can you're trying to manage your target audience the key thing is honestly listening to what they have to say because at the end of the day they're the ones buying your products okay they're the ones that are going to buy your products so listening to what they have to say is definitely definitely very very important to um, incorporate in the running of the business and like the snacks and everything so yeah Okay, so so how do you? I, I, just this question popped in my mind. How mm-hmm. do you manage um, disappointment? So I I've, I've I've seen people that would order for stuff, and last minute they'll be like, oh oh, I forgot to tell you this. Oh, I I don't think we need this much. Oh, I don't. So how do you how do you manage things like that? Or from the get go, you say, once you order, that's final. Like there's no changes, nothing. Um, so thankfully we haven't had anything that is major where we've started the process and then someone cancels. Thankfully we haven't had, I pray to God we don't have that. But I mean, obviously there's sometimes where certain things will happen. I mean, there's been times where, um, a day before the order is, um, is to be done, we get, oh, I'm sorry. I have to cancel. I'm like, okay, no worries. Okay. No worries. Like I'm not. And then again, it depends on the gravity of the order, right? Okay. If it's a small order, because it, if it's a small order, I'm like, oh, it's okay. If it's a big order and, you know, I have changed my itinerary to accommodate your order, mm-hmm. it stings a bit because you're like, why are you going to do me like that? <laughs> right? <laughs> but, That's um, true. Yeah, but thankfully, we haven't had any, like, major waste on the day of the cancel. That wouldn't even fly. Because typically, um, if you're making, um, there's some payments where you need to put a deposit down. And once you put that deposit down, there's no going back to it. Mm. I'm sorry, because I still have to buy ingredients and I still have to prep and things like that. So, um, but thankfully, we haven't had any situation like that. And Mm. it was a case where they cancel they always cancel maybe two days before or three days before or a week before even so it doesn't really affect i'll have we haven't experienced that to be honest so i can't okay. really i don't know how i mean i'll just say okay no worries i mean i don't know what else to say right mm-hmm. because okay. I didn't say, okay. even though it can be inconvenient inconvenient you still don't want to chase your customers away right Sure, sure. I think if most of them they will apologize profusely, and after the apology, like it's okay, like it's cool, we're good. Like, oh, I will order next time, and usually they do order next time. And mm. like, typically, all the people that have canceled, they would order the next time, and it's not so, it's not, we haven't really experienced it for of, me. Like, okay, okay, and it's not out of mm-hmm. like, oh, let's just compensate them or what, no, they, yeah, come, yeah, as no, it's come, not. they come and say, oh, we have this big order, da, 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 kind of a thing. And the funny thing also is kind of like um, some of my clients, I've never seen them before. So mm. at the church, I saw oh, some people, wow. oh, do you that stress you out? I'm ghost like, oh, customers. <laughs> that kind of a thing. Okay. So um, 
Yeah, because most times, like, if we have a big, we have different orders. So we're baking, 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 doing stuff. Yeah. I might be able to leave what I'm doing to go give them the, the, um, their order. So probably like, my brother would have to go or someone have to go. So some people, so for the first time, I actually met some people that I've been servicing for like <laughs> quite a while. And they're like, oh, do you mm. remember me? I'm like, no, sorry. And they tell me their name. I'm like, oh my God, it's you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that that happened to me that happened to me over the course of the weekend um mm -hmm. so i went to calgary for a program yeah. and someone just said oh life matters i know i did you and what happens to me is that once i hear my name i just freeze because i'm like mm -hmm. okay what's happened mm -hmm. what's going on yeah. and she's like i am so sorry so i'm like oh my god and i had to hug her i was super happy to see her because i'd not yeah. seen her before like i you know when people don't know you but they just support you that kind of exactly. thing exactly so this is someone that will come during the day for my show for my night shows like the post do this and i'm like okay how do i even thank god for people like this exactly and voila, no and honestly like, like, i meet when you in live and direct sometimes i feel like when you're even uh, you hear like that hmm Wow, it's it's amazing. It People is. are out there supporting your work. God bless everybody live here. God bless everybody. Honestly, like I would say, it's honestly the, the GTA the Nigerian community, they have honestly supported like our post stuff and the retweets and the copy. Like, I don't know, it's always I'm just like, yo, y'all, y'all dig <laughs> No, the support well, that, is amazing. amazing. Mm -hmm. like, and that, that's that's really good that's really good and um do you do you try to do collaborations with like bigger companies because some people will say okay let me give you music as an example so let's say i have okay i have one single and i'm like okay my next single let me have a collaboration with a big artist so that it will boost up my stuff i know some people do it in business to where they say okay let me just mm -hmm. get a bigger brand I collaborate with or I get this course where I collaborate with. So do you think that's effective for a new startup or you feel like you should mature a bit before you start doing your collaborations when it comes to business? I feel like for business, your business, you need to know what your business stands for hmm. before you can collaborate with other brands because mm. what other brands stand for might not be what you stand for and once mm. they see you associate and so once people know what you stand for you might not know the what the other brand stands for once people start to see you collaborate they start to oh are they like are they like them kind of a thing mm. so you need mm. to be there i'll say you need to know first of all know what your brand stands for before you even venture out and before you venture out know what their brand stands for, right mm, because mm, mm, um, we know your brand say, oh, yes. just like when they say get your sound in music like mm -hmm. get your sound know what you know know the, your dynamics before you start exactly. saying no i want to have someone because okay someone like me i don't i like singing probably like soulful songs Mm -hmm. and a couple of soulful songs i like singing i'm not the kind of person that i want to do all the rifts and runs and all mm -hmm. that not that i can't do it not that i don't like it but i feel like i just like simplicity like i look mm -hmm. at dom when dom when we do the same thing the same way but it's the power that backs over. his voice yes, right yes. so for me when i saw someone do all the ah, and like I, I don't, tell you, don't don't get me wrong but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not something that i want to be doing something simple on my side as the owner of the song mm -hmm. and you're running mm -hmm. all the skills and i'm like okay who wants the song now okay what am i going to do now <laughs> you get and people are like but i know i felt your your style is simple like i didn't know that you're now doing over you're you're doing the you're going over the top for anything. So I feel like it's important to know your brand as a person, know your brand as a business and know your sound as a musician too at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I strongly agree with you. So yeah. how did the name Feldos come about? Because it doesn't, it's not be fair. No, like, it's not. I, I looked at your stories and I'm like, okay, what is Feldos? Mm -hmm. Okay, so my father's name is Felix. Okay. And my mother's name is Doing. So F E L from Felix and D O from Doing. And then we just added okay. the S on the side. Ajara. 
spell those. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I, yeah. I would never, I would never think that it was even a name. I would just think that probably it was one Italian stuff or I know. something that a lot you came people, a lot, like, which, Wow. I'm not, no, it's wow, F-E-L from Felix, amazing. Daddy, and D-O from Doing Mommy. Fell, those, boom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to ask you something. So this is something that it's now a family thing where if you have a big company, like if you open like a multi-millionaire dollars company. Amen. And um, don't worry, it's you're going to do that. <laughs> Fell does make to buy. <laughs> so I, I wanted to ask this. You, you continued a legacy of some sort. Mm. When you now have people or children that say, I don't want to go down this line. And we have people that would say their parents are forcing them to do this, this, and that. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do this. How do you want to bring them together and still put them on the right track? Or do you feel like they should not fight it and they should go and do whatever they want to do? Like lawyers always want their children to be lawyers. Mm -hmm. Doctors want their children to be doctors. So mm -hmm. yours is like a past and you know that okay it's a felder's brand is something that you want to pass from generation to generation keep yeah. the recipe even patent it so that nobody will have, yeah. have access to it so how do you want to do it when kids are saying no i don't want to do this um honestly because okay let me backtrack i never wanted to do chin chin i never wanted to do none of those i won't lie to you because it's a lot of work mm. and my mother reported me to God. <laughs> <laughs> she did. Oh she my did. God. <laughs> she did. And wow. It was literally like maybe a week before she was leaving Canada to go that That's I went up to her. You can teach me. I could probably still do it. And so for <laughs> her, it was kind of like, oh, really? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, if my children didn't want to, if our children didn't want to carry on, me personally, it would hurt me because it is a family business. But at the end of the day, you need, you do what makes you happy, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel, I, I wish that a lot of Nigerian parents will understand that and allow their children do what they need to do. Um, Yeah, like my friend Nimi just said, Pastor's children, our parents always want I, us to do what I'm they gonna, want us to do. I'm going to jump on that for one minute. Um, mm -hmm. So on Sunday, we're in fellowship and we're talking about PK, right? We're talking about why mm -hmm. do you want to get married? And, mm -hmm. um, but in Sunday school before, like the, the, the Sunday, the church I went to, the Sunday school, Pastor Fatokun's church, they were talking about fulfilling purpose. Mm -hmm. And we're going back and forth, like there and there and talking about different things. And someone was like, so how do you do it where your father's purpose isn't tied to yours? Like the person mm -hmm. giving an example was talking in light of, oh, but by the way, you're passing the baton to son, this, 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 da, 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 da. and I said one thing. So I read the book of first Corinthians and chapter 12, where we're talking about we're different parts of the body of Christ, but all together, what brings us together is the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. so you get what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the tongue might not do what the feet is doing, but all we're doing together is to accomplish um what we're doing, right? Like it's to accomplish mm -hmm. the main goal, which is Christ. So yeah. it's the same thing with a lot of Nigerian kids. The parents feel, oh, I was a doctor or I'm a doctor. Some really do well. Some get to force themselves and to get into the zone. But the most important thing parents don't understand is fulfilling purpose is what's most important as an individual and yeah, of course not just fulfilling mm -hmm. your purpose but mm -hmm. yeah the opk thing it's it it kills a lot of children mm -hmm. that are days and they feel like they must be pastors right. one might have told you but that might not be the time you should come out to be mm -hmm. like a pastor yeah 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 definitely it's and also i mean if my children if they don't want to go back they you know the part Honestly, like, I wouldn't even want them to go down the part of be doing the hard labor. Oh, no, no, no. If my if my daughter wants to be a lawyer, honey, you are Feldos' lawyer, okay? <laughs> still a lawyer. We are going to send you to the school, so we'll use the money and you still come back and work for us. It's as simple as that, people. You don't want to, how would I call it? You don't want to 
send the wrong vibes to people and say, oh, you don't have a lawyer. You have failed those lawyers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have failed those lawyers. <laughs> oh my i'm so so happy much for today i want to go the route of, you know actually like food that is okay but on a larger scale i, I believe that um on a larger scale feathers will expand so so well that you have a lawyer you have an administrator you mm -hmm. have a economist you have yeah. um someone in charge of even you can have your own amazon within felders right of like course. that does that have a delivery yeah. company so mm -hmm. it's it's not well, I mean, nothing's gonna be like, everybody's yeah yes yeah, so yeah. like everyone you have a hand in it you don't have to go the route we're going where it's kind of like you're physically doing it because eventually we're not going to be physically doing it anymore we're just going to be the pretty faces of felders <laughs> but um <laughs> eventually the, i still want hands to be there you know keep it within the family you know that okay you're coming out of school honey you're not really working for anybody you're working for your parents company and you're earning your own money you're your own boss okay so mm -hmm. i mean you may not be the whole entrepreneur like typical entrepreneur or whatever but you still have like a structured corporate work but sure. as a case where yeah. it's your family business so i mean if they don't want to go down the route of physical like physically hands-on that's okay but honey yeah. you will still oversee feldos one way or the other <laughs> yeah so yeah and, and is yeah. Shaf Feldo's money it's, it's all those money they used to send the child to school so yeah. <laughs> you I have exactly. to you have to bring in the money into the same question okay um someone has a question i believe My friend, Ola. so i would love the hey honey okay so um please just shoot your question and um if anyone has a question just shoot um on facebook um oh god bless you ma'am god bless you dr Hikpalo. um so how do you how do you combine like school work and felders and this is what i want to ask so in the mm -hmm. moment where you go for a master's or mba or something and mm -hmm. you will not have so much time how how would you balance that and marriage all that how do you want to how do people how should people balance their life around that because once you marry a lot of people feel like once you marry like this you have entered into one chance so-called I, I believe is if you marry the wrong person I, I believe if you marry the right person and the person is doing a lot for you and the person is being there for you every time every day the person will do so much for you that you will not think about or oh, this or who is that right so it is it is very important um i believe creating a company that your kids will take care of but then would it really be getting a lot of life experiences still being close hmm, hmm, hmm. i really really love your question i really really love your question i really really love your question a partner will support your purpose uh dj dj gold yes dj gold yes we have some people that they have partners that support their their purpose like that go extra mile that do a right partner god bless you so a right partner someone that will see your purpose as his purpose and you see his purpose as your purpose and vice versa too because a lot of people just start up doing one business they get married and it's the end that they don't have anything to show for it they can't go back to say oh they're they're still doing this business why because a lot of people were tied to having partners that wouldn't help out we've seen a lot of them out there a lot of them out there where they they have partners that would say oh and and i think you can watch what are for things like that during courtship so when you want to do things for your brand or when you want to go all out to do stuff for your brand how does this person support you how does this person make sure that you are you're on the right course because some people don't do that some people be like oh when you're in love you know you have to do this when you're in love you don't think of that when you're in love you shine your eyes you shine your ears you, you do you get what i'm saying like you make sure that it's not like you are just um walking down the 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 road and this person is saying okay i'll meet you on the way no he has to put his own support into it 
do you understand and and it's it's been amazing um it's been amazing have, having Ife on the line even though like i think um she she was on the road so our, our battery went off but it, it's been an amazing time having Ife on the line and having to talk about these things and if you have any questions if you have anything that you want to contribute you just sent me your question um and i want to answer um Carl's question that says creating a company and they will not have right experience. I believe that even when you bring these children into the company, or 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 okay, okay, my love, God bless you. Thank you very much for having you on the show. It, it's been amazing. And you know, it's it's very important that even when you have your kids to bring on the on the in, into the company, you make them work. There's still ways your kids can work that will not make them feel like you're just handing things over to them. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. There are times where your kids have to do some work. Your kids really have to do some work before you can say, okay, um, sit down, be the this, or sit down, be the that. Do you understand? So I believe in hard work when it comes to transference of, of legacies, but I also still believe that children should be able to express themselves and explore themselves when it comes to um the business whatever business your parents are doing or whatever business you feel you want to do you have to make sure you're going the extra mile to do that and we've seen a lot of people you see bola and they are and you've had um i've seen um if nathan and zamar nathan yes um okay let me give you an example um let me see okay let me let me use myself as an example so i'm into music i'm a lawyer i'm into media and i have a talk show and um tomorrow morning my kid wants to or probably i have a big business and my kid is saying that um my kid is saying oh, he wants to tour this line I will make sure the kid starts from the ground zero. So you have to bring in content. You have to work as hard as people that are also do, that I'm paying to work for me. You know, and that's the thing. I think the familiarity or because it's my kid, there's always that soft spot and you won't let them go through life. I want you to create a content. I'll give you, I'll make sure that, and this is one thing, make sure that your kids create a brand outside your name so that people are not just should I use the word pitting them? I say, oh, it's so so and so kid. Even do it to pay off for them. And, and let me tell you, you can't do all that ground zero. They can't do all the ground zero work like you have done. Okay, so let me give you an example. Um, the brand is Anwa Dijiri. Now, if my kid wakes up tomorrow morning and goes for a meeting or goes for something or an interview and they see that we have a striking resemblance, they like, oh, are you Anwa Dijiri's daughter? There's this extra thing that comes with it. It's unconscious because I'll change her name. Hello. <laughs> so it is very important that you make your children do the work. So I make sure that you two, you go scout for content and make sure that you start with a 30 minute show and make sure that you write your own songs and let me hear you do all those rehearsals. No. Let me tell you, it is just natural that the, that the influence will rub off on you. Do you understand? The influence will rub off on you because it's your child. It's someone that you you wanna you wanna make sure everything's working great for them. But giving them hundred percent without making them work is a problem. Welcome back. Okay, so someone was asking you. <laughs> Hi Shayi, how you doing? Okay, so someone was asking, um, Carla was asking a question based on if you're creating a company where you want the child to inherit or like to work with, are you not just make, not making them have that access to like work in the sense of um, like let, let's imagine if copy like um, DJ copy was not a DJ and she was working in the oil business. Safari just answer over the oil of or your tender plan or whatnot. So is it that you're not going to allow them to work or is it that you're just giving them just because they're your kids? If they want to work. If they want to work, like if honestly, I mean the end goal really and truly, I want it to be in the family. But if they want to work right out of school, if they want to, you know, get outside experience first and you know work in the corporate world before for a while before you know coming home 
so that that's the thing he is asking that is it not like you are just handing it over to them are they not supposed to work through the skill like you work like okay you do all the sleepless night all the this all the that and you you going um your um you go all the extra mile to make sure that oh your goods are delivered this is working that is working don't is it not like just ending off all the experience they don't have the experience in those things but what what he's asking is instead of ending off to them shouldn't you allow them to work all the way to the top of where you want them to be i believe in working smarter versus working harder but sometimes mm. you have to work harder to get to where you need to be able to work smarter So if my children mm. do not have to labor hard, I don't want them to labor. But I do want them to work hard enough to earn certain things. But they don't necessarily mm. work hard where it's a case where your hurting, your neck is hurting, your feet are hurting. if they don't have to do mm. hard labor, I don't want them to, right? But working mm. hard in the sense proving to me that if the company is handed over to them, they're not going to jeopardize it. Of course I want them to show mm. that. Did you get? But mm. work hard in terms of physical labor. All right, don't you agree? Do you want your children to work that hard? <laughs> um I see his point because um when you're working closely at a younger age, you're able to I guess control like let me take myself for example. I was I was with my mom in the kitchen since like, you know, 10 12. So like I know the ins and outs of certain things. So if I didn't experience that, I wouldn't have been able to be in the position to kind of uh uh manage quality control or or do some certain stuff. So I think it is important to some level. Uh-huh. So maybe they're they're in the kitchen with you or they're working with you during the summer type thing. So when they go back to school they're able to focus. So maybe in the summer they're able to you know work with you and actually know the ins and outs of the business. That way handing off would would be I guess easier. Mm. 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 Back to what I was saying earlier. I mean eventually we're not going to be the ones in the kitchen. We're not going to be the ones rolling and everything, right? So yeah. yeah. If, so for example now if my son or if my daughter wants to actually you know be hands on in the kitchen like that you will work mm. hard on it understand mm. how it is right mm. but if it's a situation where so i'm saying so basically what i'm trying to say is the way you're going to work is dependent on what you see yourself doing right and, and it depends on what's happening that in that era in the sense right. of you may not have to need again you may have machines that can need but you can just teach them out the needs so that if the machine breaks down you have your manual your manual skill right you have a continuity plan on how to yeah. carry things so mm-hmm. i'm saying so like all the working hard that so in respect to what my sister is saying all the working hard that i'm doing now i wouldn't want my children to start doing that right out of school I would want them mm. to start that on a part-time basis sort of thing so it's a case mm 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 okay um, i okay a caller wants to break it down and i'll create a scenario yeah it would be perfect it would be perfect if you create a scenario because i think i understand what caller is saying Um and for people that are listening to us very very radio yes this is this is a run run back okay i think kala wants to create a scenario okay. where he wants to talk about this but um okay. i kind of understand from the side of where you're coming from and i understand okay. where your sister is coming from but mm. i also understand what kala is saying that you don't want to just say okay come and be the see you know you know <laughs> things like that i've seen movies that the child will be abroad for a very long time the, the mm, business has been in nigeria they've been laboring so hard everybody has been working and the child comes back and says um you know what i'm the ceo mm-hmm. with no knowledge you've not worked out you've not done anything you just want to come put him there yep. as a puppet definitely you're going to earn your position that is one thing because in as much as your our children i don't want my I don't we don't want our coming to suffer. Right? We don't want our coming to suffer. Yes, I love you as my child, but I don't want my coming to suffer. All our hard work is just going to go down because you don't have sense. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> Receive signs in Jesus name. <laughs> would have to prove they mm. would have to prove you have to prove your mm. you have to prove what position it is that you want or what position mm. it is to take over mm. so like handing it over on a platter of gold no mm. if if anything i think i'm going to be hard on my children when it comes to tell those mm. i'll tell if they're telling me want to take over and things like that no 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 you will prove yourself you will mm. prove yourself mm. and no 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 We're not doing that that's very that's very important i i think I, you were talk i was asking you a question on um the continuity strategy you will have if you like you have to go back to school for masters or mba or what not and how you want to still keep the felders line or you you go well there i think there are options like you can always do online masters or something there and now i think because of where we're at because we own our own business we could actually do an executive mba so it would yeah. we would have to probably go on campus like what is it three times a year or something something like that yeah. and god for like the evolving age that we're in now so there's more flexibility when it comes to yeah. study but um i don't think i'm not there yet <laughs> i i'm not there yet are you there yet <laughs> 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 yes. Well, so, um, that that's amazing. Definitely there I I just I'm just glad in the era that we're at it's very flexible. Studying is very flexible now. You don't necessarily have to be in a classroom to learn yeah, and you don't, you don't and right. But in the case of that if it's a case where we even have to like go away to do something, hopefully by God's grace there will be already people that can hold it down right so um, so soon enough soon enough we'll get there yeah amen 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 so how has it been with working with like the white community and the nigerian community like um who others more what has been your experience so far like being in in ontario and i know that business booms well in ontario than our uh, side for, for for most of the prov- provinces so how do you create that balance like um you're still trying to satisfy your nigerian community and give them what they want and also still trying to have your like um other people from other parts of the world um customers like that so what we do honestly we keep it even it's okay. even regardless of who is ordering the standard mm-hmm. is still going to be the same it's there's no mm-hmm. favorite how i'm going to treat you as a nigerian is how i'm going to treat you as a pakistani or mm, 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 mm. even all throughout it's still like it's like me going to walmart now i'm not going if if i go buy something from walmart because um someone is of a certain race doesn't mean that they're going to get less or more of something do you know what i mean so it's mm. it's even all round to be honest mm. it's mm. even all and because we're in a western culture so we're even trying to do things right mm. Mm. we do all that like and it's very frustrating sometimes i guess you know people see the whole african time thing and for us fellows isn't the only thing we do right like i was saying before like we're very committed workers at church so if your pick up time is a certain time sis please pick up at that time so i mean so now we you know we've we found a way around it where um we make sure that clients pick up at when they need to pick up and it's a case where sometimes i'm perfect if we're running late to like a delivery or something we'll let you know well ahead of time that we're running it not mm-hmm. five minutes at the time because that is very very unprofessional mm-hmm. integrity very, very is very important mm-hmm. of course of course and mm. most time um when we've told them that it's never been an issue it's never been mm. an issue at all where um mm-hmm. we've had to um like we we've, we've, we've been running late or whatever and when i've told them it's always been okay and 
mm-hmm. they always come back, right? Mm-hmm. Because I once you just set the tone and let them know, okay, this is the situation. It was beyond your control and this, that, and the other. All the clients understand. I haven't had one client that has been, that hasn't understood, to be honest. So, um, any, integrity... Any drama, any drama clients? Um, I'm dramatic. So, if you give me, I give you. <laughs> but, <laughs> when I give you, you think you're the one... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, when I'm you, you think you're the one giving me. So, you don't really know that I'm giving you. You get... Mm. Well, they don't really know. I mean, and I think some of the clients, you need to know your audience. You need, to know, you need to know the type of people that you're dealing with. That way you mm-hmm. can adjust your approach. And, um, yeah, so definitely knowing your clients that you deal with. There's some clients that when I go deliver stuff, we can just, we will talk, 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 talk about God knows what. Before you know it, one hour has passed. And I just want us to give mm-hmm. it for four, like the other. <laughs> Wow, I, wow, wow. Relationship. They understand that business is business. Um, mm. I rarely, I don't really, I rarely chase people for, to pay. Rarely. Mm. Mm. Rarely. Mm. Most people pay ahead of time. There's never really been mm. an issue. Um, mm. Yeah, and that's really what it is. So, like, drama like that, no, not really. Maybe in the past. And because they were older Nigerians, I didn't want to disrespect but they knew that mm. they messed up. They knew that they messed mm-hmm. up. I let them mm-hmm. very subtly that they messed up. And, you know, mm. so thankfully we don't have none of those dramas. So, so as a Christian, you've talked about your faith um, mm-hmm. in more than two to five to ten times during this conversation. And um, I just want you to... Because you really see people talk about their faith when it comes to business. They always say, ah, uh, let Christianity be on one side, let business be on one side. But I, I just want you to kind of encourage young Christians that are into business and um, the impact and the essence of the Holy Spirit when you're doing your own work, how important and how effective it is and how has it worked for you that you, you've you had, even though you've had your high and low moments, but the Holy Spirit has always been there, always guiding you. Huh. Girl, I have a story about that one. Okay. So it is so, so important. So typically, um, you know, now here, a lot of people have like, um, a lot of people have um, allergies and like food restrictions and things like that. And typically, um, yeah. if people have allergies, they let us know, oh, I'm allergic to eggs. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm allergic to this, 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 this. And mm-hmm. make accommodations for that. So there was this one mm-hmm. time puff puff for okay his baby shower right okay and in our puff puff we have cinnamon in it this okay that's the secret ingredient Wink. <laughs> mm. so um um so i didn't it was a big order i hadn't slept the night before so he comes up i go downstairs to the, and honestly i i believe it was the holy Spirit drop mm. off orders and mm. say, oh, are you allergic to this? Are you, are you allergic to that? I don't say anything. I just give it and collect my money if I have to and go. But this time, I just said, oh, I, if, I hope no one's allergic to eggs. If they're allergic to eggs, they can't eat the meat pies because it's glazed with eggs. They can't eat the scotch egg because the eggs to coat it. Yeah, yeah. Fine. He then goes, hold on. Is there cinnamon in anything? I said, Oh my God! Yes. Wow. I, he said what? I said the puff puff. He said, "Wow, my wife is allergic to cinnamon." Wow. I said, "Cause this was the first time we have told anyone that there's cinnamon in the puff puff." Because no one has ever said, and he didn't mention it. And wow. I was, oh my God! I had to stay calm, but in my head, I'm like. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Because at the end of the day, something happens. They're it's gonna those. They won't say cinnamon. They will say it to you. Do you, know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? And in that moment, I was so tired, but the sleep disappeared right away. I said, wow, wow. okay. 
um yeah so your wife your pregnant wife cannot eat this puff puff please even though that's what she might be craving but she cannot eat it i beg biko and then i was going back up the stairs i was just like thank you jesus thank you jesus thank mm. you holy spirit mm. i came up mm. to her I, I, what mm -hmm. i'm like bruh i called my dad to tell him i called my mom i was like in shock wow i'm like we don't talk about anything that's inside if you have allergies and allergies, you say it and let the person know before time yo. honestly that's why i'm telling like it is like i didn't re i feel like that was one of the moments where i'm like yo like I, apart from like strength and stuff like he brings to your remembrance yo because mm. what am i what like yeah because that conversation never comes up at all like oh mm. Stuff mm. in this is stuff in this is stuff in this. So, mm. and that was also another avenue to like, even when we're redoing the new website, add what they contain. So, if you're allergic to stuff, and there's also a portion on the website where you can say if you're allergic to anything, mm -hmm. and then yes, you know, yes, yes, yes. Actually, so, actually, so I, when I when I went to check it, yes. And it's like, listen, ain't nobody trying to go trying to pay no fine for nothing. Like, I didn't kill nobody, please. Hello mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. So it was mm -hmm. it was in as much as the Holy Spirit brought that to our remembrance, it also created an avenue to like change stuff as well and put things in place. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if if for anything that is very, 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 very important because at the end of the day you're human, mm -hmm. you're gonna forget stuff. Your brain mm -hmm. is in as much as your brain mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the greatest teacher the greatest teacher so as christians we should as christians work hand in hand with him work hand in hand with him because he will never disappoint you mm. Mm. yeah so yeah like i was saying in as much as your brain is can hold information it is a very limited mm. in itself right so you're a yeah. human being you can yeah. so, so many times i've forgotten you know how many times i've fallen asleep driving please <laughs> you like it's crazy man like you see like the yo mm. your faith is very 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 important mm. and another mm. thing i would say that our faith is important for is um just the fact that everything needs to be of a high standard mm. it needs to be excellent high standard, right because you don't want to see people oh and they say they're christians True. Like, True. Okay. True. so that's why the mm. the the packaging is popping. Okay, it is popping. Mm. The new website is popping, and even when I go for like I go for deliveries, like let's say I have to drive to deliver like a big order, I make sure I'm looking good. Mm. So like translate to how your product you tastes. Okay. You like you can't the entire package. Oh my, it's real package, you know. It is real packaging. You need to package. I'm, yeah, I, I, yeah. I never get one for that. I'll be like, is it not just delivery? Is it not just... But sometimes when you hear certain words and your brain starts to reset, your brain starts to reset. You don't want a situation where people are cabinet and you're just looking any one kind with your brand. It's like, nah, honey, we looking good 24-7. Mm -hmm. Okay, 24-7. Mm -hmm. But when you see me outside, when you see me mm -hmm. outside, that you know yeah so that's definitely it's played mm. that much of, of a big role in Anfeldo's oh my oh my thank you thank you very much this has been super super amazing before you go I would love you to um I need a final word from both you and your sister <clears throat> and um just both that have that fear of a start of experience and they're like i don't want to start anything let me just let me just get a nine to five job not like nine to five jobs are not good they're good but let me just let me just leave this thing it's a dream someone else will wake up <laughs> since it's a dream but um just putting words to encourage people that are, have that in fear or that feel like they can't go through with a couple of ideas that they've written down for years what will be your your advice as as a business owner that you are Say honestly, one thing I would say is you're not too young. You mm. are not young. My sister and I were under thirty. Mm. 
after 30. And sometimes um, I would have conversations with certain people and they're like, oh, how old are you? And I tell them how old I am. They're like, you're so young. I'm like, okay, thank you. Like, what is happening? Right? But you're that affecting the, the price of the puff puff. <laughs> <laughs> never too young. You're never too young mm. to um, start that dream and start that mm. passion that you have mm. and like I said, for mm. us it never really was a dream it was just mm. we needed money and it was something that we could do mm. and then mm. it eventually became a dream and also i would say when you're young is when it when you're young it's the best time to to make mistakes mm. so it's not mm. it's not always going to be perfect there's going to be times when you're going to cry there's going to be times when you're going to be frustrated. It's going to be times when you, going to be times when you just want to give up and be like, what is the essence of it all? Mm-hmm. You're going to spend a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <but> <laughs> don't let that discourage you. And mm. you, in your human form, you could be discouraged. And that is where the faith factor comes mm-hmm. into play. That is where the God factor comes into play. Just because someone gave me this advice. When your business starts getting better is when your relationship with God needs to get better too. Because mm. if you use that, oh, I'm busy, I've got orders, I can't commit to doing what I need to do, God's mm. not looking at you, oh, oh, you pray for uh, this. You have grown wings. And now, <laughs> feeling mm. like a champ. Now, that is when your you need to take your service even more seriously. And mm-hmm. people understand, if you tell, no one has felt, um, no one has, um, I've told people, oh, I have church at this time, I can't do it. I have this, I can't do it. And it's not a situation where they're like, uh uh-uh, what do you mean about customers? No one has ever said that. When mm-hmm. you know you, when you know what you stand for, people will respect that. They will mm-hmm. respect, obviously, and with us, we have to be flexible as well. If it means waking up early before a Sunday service, mm-hmm. we'll Right. If it means working late at night, so you can have it first thing in the morning, we'll do that as well. So I would just say, go for it, God factor, and don't give up. That's that's my mm-hmm. take. Okay. Uh, I don't have much to say because she's pretty much said it all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what I'd say is, is if if you're scared of starting something, I'd encourage you to mm. just start it. You might be worried about, oh, where are my funds going to come? Where am I going to get the, this res- resource? But you're not going to get that if you don't start mm. the journey. Yeah. When you start mm. your journey, when you begin to pull those resources, it will come from nowhere. Mm. And mm. this pension packaging that we did, it was somebody that actually approached us mm-hmm. about it, about the design mm. or whatever. You guys should, you know, package it. And we've been thinking about it, but this we person was... The, the force to push us into actually like creating it so it, mm. it, it just to show that when you start on your journey god makes avenues mm. for people helpers of destiny will come and mm. help you on your journey but the mm. onus is on you to actually oh, yes. start, start the journey and you it will just surprise you how things fall into places mm. when the scripture mm. says oh he makes all things beautiful in his time oh, yeah it's definitely mm. true. There, there's been trials and there will be trials. He, he never said that there won't be trials, but he said he will He will put you through those trials, mm-hmm. you know? Yes. And that's what people need to understand that, yes, there'll be trials, but don't give up because God is going to send people to help you. It'll amaze you how um, 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 people will come your way. Oh, yeah. And creating that those connections in church as well, like some of the connections that we made were in church. We found them in church. Some people say, oh, church, 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 church. Right. Nobody's there to help you. But there's people out there oh, yeah. looking out for mm-hmm. you. And that's because mm-hmm. God has placed them in your path. So if you're mm. working in the past and, and, and doting on God for direction, mm. you're, you're not going to fail. You're, you're going to ex- excel. So mm. I say, mm. and another thing, don't compromise your standards. Oh, yeah. Do not mm. compromise your standards. Yes, people are going to give their feedback. It's your duty to funnel what you want to take from that feedback because feedback will come. There would be constructive feedback. There will be destructive feedback. Mm. It, mm. it is your job to just filter out what, you know, this might actually be good feedback. Let me, let me um, use this to improve, you know, my product. So, yeah, that's the two cents. Don't compromise and just keep pushing. God be with you. Oh, and I've got one more thing to say. Thank and you very much, Ari. 
especially for the ladies, people would say that you're too ambitious. Mm. They would say you're mm. too ambitious. Mm. Oh, but mm. no one's gonna want you. Okay, that's fine. Don't want me. That's okay. Mm. I don't want you well, too. Honestly, like, do not, do not make your, do not lessen your dream. Don't lessen your dream. Do not make your dream small for anybody, even for guys mm. too, for no man, for no woman. Mm. Do not make yourself feel mm. small. Flourish mm. in your dream. Mm -hmm. Flourish in your purpose. Because, mm -hmm. trust me, people on the same level will see you. They will see you. And people that, you will attract the people on the same level as you. You won't even have time for nonsense. You'll be able to filter. Very true. People. So very do not true. make yourself very, very small. True. And I'm learning that every day. I am learning. I'm like, mm. listen, yes, I am a CEO. And what? Like, what? Please. Like, don't try and make me feel small. Do you know what I mean? So, like, honestly, hold your mm. head high. Mm. Flourish in your mm. path. Flourish in your mm. dreams. Don't let anyone tell you nothing. And obviously, African parents are going to come. And African aunties and uncles are going to talk about marriage and stuff. But, like, yo, it will come. It's not... It's part of the process. Like, marriage is just, mm. it's like a straight line. My business is on this line. Marriage is on that line. Mm. But, like, mm. in, it's just on that line. Just things you just collect. Yes, the marriage might not be on the, mm. and it might not be before certain things. It might be later on down the line. But don't let it fuss mm. you, man. Because, <laughs> honestly, life is bigger than just that. Life is bigger than mm. just that. You will marry, mm. okay, and then, so, like, mm. it's, do not let people make you feel smaller. Don't even mm. make you feel small just to attract people. It, mm. 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 Don't make your dreams small to attract people. And I tell and I tell my, my ladies' friends and I tell everybody, I say, it takes a powerful person to marry a powerful person. If a man is intimidated about your power, then he's not meant for you. He's not. Let him go and get the puppet. <laughs> that we, we direct around. <laughs> but yeah it's been an amazing time i can't believe that we're almost one hour um but it's been an amazing time having you and your sister on the show um for people that are wondering who are we talking to we're talking to chef Pepe and or adeshola they're the chefs at elders the ca and if you want to eat some delicious some magnanimous um phantom glorious pastries <laughs> you just go to the website and they will always deliver ASAP. And I think you're on break right now. You're on vacation. So, yeah. So, if you're in the you GTA, back, yes. So, if you're in the GTA, soon enough, we're going to work for something for Chin Chin, just Chin Chin, though, outside of okay. the GTA and outside okay. of Terry. So, keep okay. an eye. We're coming for y'all. Hallelujah. <laughs> We'll see Felders everywhere and God bless you. Thank you very much. It was amazing. I feel we're inspired. And I'm and I'm happy that even with all the nets of Bohaha, we we had a great time and it and it was good. Thank you very much. If God bless you real good. Thank you. It is it has been an amazing time. Oh my, oh my. It's been an amazing time having a fair and aura at Deshola. Yes, we're supposed to have one chef, but yes, God, we brought, we had two of them and it was amazing. Yes. And for those that missed the show, don't worry. Subscribe to the channel Anwar Dejere and you'll see previous episodes of Life Matters of Anwar Dejere. And today's own yes, once we are edited and show out a couple of stuff, we're sure gonna um, give you the full gist. Yes, the full gist of this episode so just check um youtube at anwar Dejere. and like i said my single is still out there is loved by anwar Dejere. just google it is loved by anwar Dejere, and you would be able to purchase on itunes and every other platform in the world yes it has been an amazing time god bless you yes we missed our quota on life and on amen radio but um Right now, as I sign up, I pray that the Lord blesses you this week. I pray that the Lord causes his face to shine upon you. And the Lord will grant you peace. If you're trying to start up, just start it. God will always go before you. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. God is always there for you. And like we've all said today, depend on God. Depend on the Holy Spirit. Be grateful. Be thankful to God always. And know that either I start a good thing in your life, it will bring you to one. 
a complete end and it will never leave you nor forsake you. These are the words from God and I want you to believe it as I believe it. God bless you. And yes, it's our six months with Life Matters on I love